It's Sunday. Oh, there's a squirrel. It's Sunday and I am up in London with Charlotte. We have a few things to sort out up here and she is going to take me to a few of her favourite places in London, uh, namely sort of Spitalfields and Brick Lane as well. And then we're going home. So it's a long way up here. It takes, in fact, we left at five o'clock this morning and we arrived at half past eight. Uh, but it takes that long to get to London from where we are. And now we're going to go and have a look around and see the sights. Crosstown Donuts. P.S. You look great today, it says. <laughs> Very kind of them. So here's the donuts we just bought. We have got cinnamon something, like a cinnamon swirl. This one is a truffle donut. This one is a banana donut. Yep. And this one is an apricot donut. And apparently they deliver. But we happen to be in London, so I don't think they're going to deliver all the way to Western Manor, to be honest. But anyway, let's dive in and eat them. Let's try and we don't have an <laughs> we don't have a knife in the car. You see, we're back in the car, so I am cutting it <laughs> with a fork. With a fork, because this is the only implement we have at the moment in the car. Ah, oh, yes, and Charlotte's with us as well. Okay, so this crowned cinnamon, crown cinnamon something anyway. Mm. Mm. Nice. Yeah. Nice. So good. Oh. Mm. Mm. They taste better than what they actually look. Mm. They're like like an American. Cinnamon bun, now it's so squishy. Mm. Mm. Well, I didn't get on eating it. Here's the 
a little boy and the Santa Claus forgot. And goodness knows he didn't want to love. Oh, did I get that scram? Isn't that weird when you get a. When you get a scram and you. I don't know how it got there. Anyway, okay. <laughs> I look, I look right next. Look at me. <sighs> what a day! Oh my goodness me! <coughs> so it's Friday morning. And it's been a rather busy week, being the uh, not it's not the last week before Christmas. It's the week before the last week of Christmas. And Sunday, I was in London picking up Charlotte to bring her home for Christmas. And Wednesday, I was down in Exeter picking up Caitlin, bringing her back for Christmas. And today is Friday, and to Tonight I am picking up Grace. She's coming down from Coventry. So it's going to be another late one for me because I'm going to be driving for about four or five hours in total. <coughs> it seems that I'm always here. I must admit I had a bit of an early night last night going home. I left here about half past seven, eight o'clock because I had some, uh, some editing to do. But I'm back and it's... It's pitch black out there. It's literally just after just after seven o'clock and It's the same sort of routine. It's work go home bed Wake up work go home bed and it's that it's just It's something that I am used to um, I've been doing this for close to nearly 30 years now, so it's nothing new um, I'm used to it. I just don't even have to think about anything else apart from work and sleeping. Because that's all I seem to do at the moment. But it'll soon be over. And <clears throat> there's something going around in the UK. It's to try and get businesses to close on Boxing Day. There's lots of the big, even the big jewellery companies, jewellery shops, that open up on Boxing Day. Um, and everyone is trying to get together so they can close on Boxing Day just so the, the, the staff can have time with their family. I go one step further. I close for the whole week after Christmas. People say I'm mad. People say that's the best time to take in repairs. That's the best time to have your watch bracelets shortened. That's the best time to, to have rings um, resized because people have them for Christmas and they want to wear them out and they can't they're too big they're too small that sort of thing but I'm a family man I have three daughters Jason has a little boy and a little girl Mary has um, a boy and a girl albeit they're sort of in university and, and Sharon has a daughter as well and a son but the son's living away and I want to spend time with my family. Work to me is really, really important, but also family time together is really, really important as well. Because um, at the beginning of the week, I had a bit of a scare. Um, sorry. My father fell down and, and, and we weren't sure whether he was going to go into hospital and um, my mother has um, it's like the, 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 the those dust, she's got dementia but it's the very early stage of, of dementia and it's only when things like this happen to you that you realise how important family is and the more times you can spend with your family uh, whilst they actually remember you the better so I have always closed sorry 
I have always clothes after Christmas just so I can spend time with my girls um, because they're in university at the moment and I don't really get to see them an awful lot. I get to see them every now and again. Um, but I think it's really important to, to, to spend time with your family because you just don't know how long we have got on this planet. Sorry. And uh, yeah, my dad's um, my dad's ninety ninety four. My mum's I think she's about eighty six. No one knows. Uh, my dad's ninety four, and he has seen a lot of life, and I want him to see uh, more life. And, and and he is a lot better. He's a lot better. Now. He's not going to necessarily go into hospital, and he's, he's at home. And um, I've been down to see him most nights, and he's coming along really really well. And he's back to his his fighting um, fighting fit state again. But please take time to be with your family over Christmas. It is so, so important these days. Everyone is too, too worked up in their own minds about work. And I love my work, don't get me wrong. But at this time of year, Christmas, for me, it really is important to spend time with your family. So that's the reason why I close Christmas Eve and I don't open up until the new year because I want to have time with my family, talk to them. You can't play with the kids now because my, my, my daughters are 19 years old. But even just being around them and talking to them and, and being with them um, and, and going out to like for day trips, it's something that, that, that I really do, do treasure. So if nothing else, please take time Take time out from work and just have time with the family and just spend it with them. Take time, tell them that you love them. And have a great Christmas.